In this video, I've collected a list of the most unique and awesome programming projects that I could find. Building up a portfolio of projects of your own is one of the best ways to increase the value of your resume and help you secure the top paying developer jobs. Let this video serve as like inspiration and motivation for the creative and innovative things that can be done with code. And to me, this is the sort of stuff that inspires me to code. So let's start off hot with project number one. Macbroken. McBroken was created by Rashik Sahid, I hope I'm saying that right, who was basically wondering why he couldn't order ice cream from the McDonald's that he went to. And he happened to be fairly knowledgeable on how to reverse engineer APIs, so he essentially did that. He reverse engineered the McDonald's API and figured out how to send orders via the API to the different restaurants. Then he just sent out orders for ice cream via the API to all the McDonald's restaurants he could find. And then if the order went through, then I'm guessing that he auto cancelled the order. And if it didn't go through, then he knew that the ice cream machine was broken. After seeing that this actually worked quite well, he put together a quick little website to go along with with this and to visually show which locations had working machines and which didn't. And within 20 minutes of launch, the website had over 10,000 visitors, which basically crashed the site. And Sahid essentially built all of this as a joke, so he wasn't really prepared for that kind of viral traffic. And I really like this project because it's just such a cool way of showing what can be done with code and with some creative imagination as well. And if you ever watch Rick and Morty, I feel like this is like the real world manifestation of a Rick project where you basically get annoyed that something doesn't work the way that you want. So you build something to make it work the way that you want. And this is the sort of stuff, again, that gets me really excited to code. The next project is Pwned or Not, which is created by The White Hat, and it's actually a really useful little tool. And this basically allows you to enter in your email address or domain name, and the website will then do a search and see if any passwords related to those email addresses or that domain name has been leaked. And here I'm assuming that this searches through sites that are commonly used to post leaked passwords and basically checks there to see if the domain or email that you entered shows up. From using it myself and from what I've read about this tool, it seems to be relatively reliable. And if nothing else, it's just a good thing to check every now and then because better safe than sorry. Moving on, the next project is AR Cut Paste. And this next project is developed by Cyril Dayang, I think that's how you say it, and along with like a small team of contributors. And this is again a really cool project and it's essentially a tool that allows you to copy and paste things from real life. Similar to what Google Lens has done, where you can aim the camera at some text from a book and it will recognize that this is text and it will allow you to copy that text. AR cut paste is basically that, but on steroids, because you can aim it at anything and copy that object and paste it into wherever, as you can see here. And right now it works with Photoshop relatively seamlessly. And from what I could tell, they're working on increasing the support for other apps as well. And to me, this really feels like the way that I think that AR will actually go because to me, when AR actually came out, I felt a bit like, okay, that's really cool, but why though? Like my post carrier app, for instance, it allows me to see the size of the package that I'm receiving, which is really cool, but not super useful. It has use cases, but just not that many. And same with gaming, in my opinion, it's cool, but almost less immersive than just having everything be virtual. But with this sort of stuff, like copy pasting from real life, I think that that is actually useful. And especially here, I think that copying text from like books and stuff like that, I think that that will be the most useful thing. But then there's also gonna be the stuff like copying real objects from life and then pasting them in as PNG files into your computer. I think that that's gonna be super useful as well, especially for like graphic designers and artists and designers in general. And either way, I mean, just look at it. It's just such a cool way to think about how to work with AR. For this next project, we have something that I think is the way that all education should go. And personally, I'm a huge proponent of open source education and open source knowledge in general. And this next project is developed by the eBook Foundation. And it's not so much a programming project as just an open source educational project. It's the Free Programming Books project and they've basically created a GitHub repo where you can find free programming books and resources like courses and exercises. And there's enough material here to keep you busy for a while, essentially a lifetime. And most importantly, this is a way to democratize education within programming because given an internet connection and a basic computer, you can use this to become a software engineer. And the good thing about programming is that open source is so common and endorsed by the programming community that it also means that programming education is at the forefront when it comes to open source education. 
And there are like literally entire engineering courses out there that have been open sourced and tons of other resources out there that means that you can basically learn these things for free, which I think is just such a great thing. And this ebook foundation project is a really nice and wholesome project that I think is taking education in the right direction. If you are, however, looking for a more complete learning experience, then Brilliant is a great value for money. Brilliant offers high quality interactive courses on computer programming and math and science. They also very kindly agreed to collaborate with me on this video so that we would be able to offer you guys a 20% discount on an entire year of Brilliant Premium. Education is, in my opinion, one of the best investments that you can make, especially for learning about computer science. Because of the infinite leverage that it gives you, it's very likely to yield a high return on investment. And Brilliant is, from my experience, the best platform out there for learning about these quite advanced concepts. They also have a full course teaching you how to code in Python that's really good. So I really can't recommend them enough. And again, if you use the link in my description, you'll get 20% off one year of Brilliant Premium. All right, the next project is Newscatcher that's developed by Artem Bugara. <laughs> I think that's how you say it, and Edward Vela. And this is a tool that will allow you to gather information from different news sites. The idea being to help with the scraping of information from news sites very efficiently, where you can basically search for topics and other things like that. And this is something that I can see could be very useful for someone, for instance, building an AI system that does trades in the stock market, or in general, just for training some neural net or a machine learning algorithm to understand news articles. So if you're building a system with the goal of having it be able to understand whether the news today is overall positive or negative about a certain topic, then this tool might be something that you can integrate to train your system on. And this is something that I'm potentially considering trying out. Okay, that's it. And those are the coolest programming projects that I could find. And there's actually a lot more that I found that I didn't include in this video. So I might make another one later on, but I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you got some inspiration for projects that you want to try or just coding in general. I know that I did when I was researching this video, I got a lot of inspiration. And also before you go, I have a Patreon page where I create some mini courses. And right now I posted just one course, which is a trading bot course, but I am working on a few more courses that will be posted sometime soon, not sure when. So check that out if you want to, but you don't have to, of course. And uh, yeah, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you in the next one.